today we are going to go on a virtual adventure to find and observe lichen. So here we go. Now look at this beautiful sample of shelf fungus. If you look here, you see the green? See the green here? That is lichen. The algae be lichen the fungi. So that's algae there, that green. And when it lives with the fungi in a symbiotic relationship, we call it lichen. I should have brought gloves with me. And remove oh, a piece. There we go. So we got a piece of this shelf fungus. See the gills underneath? Here. Interesting. Okay. I'm being nerdy. So I'm gonna put that in the baggie. And we'll see if we can find some lichen. Aurora, wrong way. These are my helpers. One of them is escaping. <laughs> get that helper! <laughs> yeah, get that! Get around. Let's go back now. We're done. Look at that beautiful sample of lichen on this tree. What did you say? I like it, Mommy. You like it? Because the fungus be like in the algae. Oh yeah, that's a science joke. Okay, I'm gonna collect a sample of this and we'll look at it. Don't touch the lichen, baby. Where are you? I just, really? You don't listen. I wanted some. I, it doesn't matter, I asked you not to touch it. Where is it? No, you are not listening, put it down. Oh, here's another sample. On this tree right here. There's some more over here. I know, and there's actually some on this. Uh, ah! I don't know what this is. Wait, ah! how do I? There's lichen growing on this thing too. What it? A Wait, what? telecommunication That's device. That's not a tree. There's some lichen on the telecommunication Wait. device. Wait, lichen can be lichen can be everywhere. I guess so. That's a great okay. observation, Eddie. and a moment of solace here, a moment of respite. And they're sitting on a rock that's covered in. You guessed it, lichen. Well, wasn't that an exciting adventure? So let me show you some of the samples that we collected along our journey. So first we have our shelf mushroom. And if you look closely, what do you see? Gills, very good. This is the top of the cap. And we also have this beautiful sample of lichen. We have another sample of lichen where the lichen looks a little different. On this nice stick Danny found. I have water for my slides. Bromophymol blue, a pipette, and a little bug that followed me home. Sorry, little bug. And well slides that have little like divots in them. So that way we can see thicker things and, and put them under the compound microscope without having to use a stereo microscope. So I'm going to make these slides and I'll be right back. So first we're gonna look at the gills. Oop. And we'll bring the gills. Up, oh, you see the spores? You can see the spores on the lower half of the slide, those little circles. So this was a mature mushroom. Very nice. So if you notice, I'm looking at the edges because otherwise it's hard to see the hyphae because you have to rip it in order to see the hyphae. Okay, my phone is fo fighting with me here to focus. So if you look at the hyphae of the portobello mushroom and the shelf fungus, do they look similar or different? So 
So here's the hyphae, the portobello mushroom. Does it look similar or different to the hyphae of the shelf fungus? Here's the hyphae of the gills of the shelf fungus. Okay. Hyphae of the shelf fungus. Zoom in. Does this look similar or different to the portobello mushroom hyphae? go. Here are a bunch of spores. That is a spore right there. If you look closely, you can see the multinucleate cells of the hyphae for the shelf fungus. I added bromothymol blue in order to help the nuclei stand out. This is Iggy. She is terrified of her own shadow, so it was difficult getting her to join us, though. She is here, albeit upset. Just to summarize what we did today, we looked at two fungus species, and then we looked at a sample of lichen. And I know that many of you made observations of lichen for your fungus lab, and they were absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful both the mushroom samples and the lichen samples. So thank you for that. We're very proud of you. And you have to just answer a couple of questions based on what we just did. She is so furry. And I hope you have a beautiful next few days. This lab will be due on Wednesday. Oh, there she goes. Say bye-bye. No, no, say bye-bye. Bye. 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 Sick mommy put me down.